In this episode, we'll be conducting the surge test. For the surge test, we use the same high voltage test leads. As you can see, I've left them configured here from the DC test that we did earlier. Now we need to move from the DC test screen to the surge test screen. To do this, we simply activate the surge button. And as you can see, we now have three lead buttons. Lead one is activated. so. This is the test that we're going to see visually as we, as we increase the voltage on the screen. To do this, we simply activate the button and increase the voltage using the voltage in indicator button. As it increases, we can see that the sine wave is developing, but this can be changed so that we can change the scale so that we can see the entire sine wave much clearer. Once we've done this, we can then increase the voltage to our target level, which again is 1830 volts in this case, twice the working voltage plus 1000, which is a Baker instrument recommendation. As we approach our target value, I can then release the button and that records the sine wave of phase one or lead one on the screen. Here we have the pulse to pulse error area ratio graph and with the alarm level in red as you can see the, the, the reading here is very consistent. What I'm now going to do is activate lead two and conduct the same test. With all surge tests what are we looking for as the voltage increases is a shift in the pattern usually to the left, which would indicate a short developing within the turns of the winding. This would also be indicated in the PPEAR graph. But as you can see in this instance, the values are very low. Once we reach our target voltage, we release the button, change the lead to the next, and then activate the test again. We do this for all three phases, or if we had a field frame, a DC coil, um, we could simply just do the test once uh, across, across the winding for the two leads. This particular instrument's maximum output is 12kV, but they come in various sizes from 2kV upwards. Okay, once we record that level, this is our screen. Slight imbalance there, but the PPEAR is showing no real issues, so the test is complete. 